Hello and welcome to RC Shim. Thanks for joining me in the hangar. Today I want to show you the Scullin Drones Rampage. So I was asked to review a regional frame and of course I want it. And that's what it looks like. Uh, it's really a nice uh, kind of almost true X frame. Ah, uh, it's, it's an hybrid maybe. The best features of this frame should be its, its durability. So the frame is made of 3mm carbon, but the, the arms are really fat. And Simon, the guy who designed this frame, uh, he studies architecture. And as such, he knows a lot about structural integrity. He designed it to be very lightweight and also very, very rigid. There are a lot of screws that uh, tighten the, the cross section, so that's, that's really designed nice. You have a ring on the upper side as well, but I will show you build pics at the end of this uh, review video. It was quite a nice build. I didn't crash test it and I don't like to crash test it like I saw Chad Novak crashing two frames because the other Chad told him to. Um, I don't think it's funny. At least if you build it yourselves, uh, you don't want to waste a few hours of building time uh, for a crash. Yeah, maybe these plates will come off and, and the, the screws will tear out earlier than the arms breaking. I mean, it's a 210 frame and you don't have a lot of space and the prop clearance can be an issue. Um, you have to make sure all the cables are tight and stay in their place, not get in the way of the prop. Oh, damn it. Always make sure you fasten the balance plug somehow, or <laughs> else this, this will happen. Just wanted to show you the letter that I got with the the rampage it's really a lot of personality in it and you get a little one page uh, manual how to assemble but it's yeah it's not that hard flew it for a month now or so and i have a few nice flight sessions that i did with it so enjoy the flights <laughs> Eins sehen wir dir auch halt. is meant to be a real power machine so I just got the frame from him and I ordered very powerful motors and ECs from Silver Drone maybe nowadays they are available in other stores Silver Drone is Singapore paste and it took about a month to get the stuff because it was not on stock back then but uh, it's the ZMX version 3 motors I think Trappy also recommended uh, them recently or the their successors uh, actually but those those motors are insane i mean they are rated to up to 1.4 kilograms of thrust under optimal conditions of course so really really a lot of power if you combine four of these motors 
Uh, ESCs, Icon 30 amp ones. Uh, I get them. I just got them recommended. Of course, they uh, support BL Heli, and I have an SP Racing F3 board. At the moment, I have the Fox here 1189, but today I flew it. I don't fully really like it, so it's a CMOS, and I will I will check back to a CCD, of course. I also have an Quantum video transmitter back there, TBS Triumph, Free Sky D4 R2, micro receiver with two antennas. This part in the front is homemade, as you might have guessed. But it's meant to hold my SJKM M20. The M20 is really nice, decent, small, 60 frames 1080p cam with image stabilization and all the gimmicks. I just used this plastic part here, which I cut. I don't, I don't do 3D prints because they take too long. I didn't get a 3D printer yet, and I don't plan to. I mean, you can DIY such things so fast. Uh, quick tip here, for most of my DIY plastic things, I recycle these plastic boxes from LTO tape cartridges. If you have a source, they are nice rigid plastic. You really have to have a Velcro with a rubberized uh, inside so the cam can't slide out. It's only 54 grams, which is nice. Of course, with the mount, maybe we are up to 70 grams, but yeah. And I also mounted the GPS logger up here, because I wanted to measure exactly how fast this thing is. And I'm not sure yet, uh, I started using the two blade uh, props here, because I somewhere heard two blades are faster than three, I'm not sure. I mean, of course, it depends on the prop dimensions and everything. Okay, this song is not. <laughs> Quick question, uh, what is wrong on this picture? I'll give you a second. Okay, this guy here is wrong. Do you see this? Uh, it's mounted upside down. And the thing is, uh, this works. You can fly with this, but this is no way as efficient as if it was mounted the correct way around. So this is how I flew the speed test yesterday and of course it's not the best for the speed. So I will swap this and now make a speed test with the Dalprop 545 bullnose and see if they have more top speed than the, the three bladed I tested earlier which are uh, 54 three blades. Okay guys, not all the best weather today, but the fog cleared out a bit and I want to repeat my speed tests. Okay, the two-bladed ones feel locked in today as well. And I'm flying almost only half throttle now. Turning around and giving it full power now. And it starts to rain, but yeah, we're fine. Really screaming. life and max okay top speed of 129 kilometers that's just as fast as my vortex was and now try with the tri plates Oh, and the, the three braided props are so nice. I can definitely tell the difference. Of 
from the two bladed ones it feels so much smoother in the air okay full speed full speed now Full speed didn't feel so fast. As you see, we got a maximum speed of 110 km per hour. It's kind of not what I expected, but yeah, they screamed a lot and they definitely felt better than the two-bladed in the air. So, so much smoother and, and uh, locked in. Um, could also be that I just found the perfect pits now, but yeah, the way it works now, I like it. Uh, another short mini review of this GPS logger. This green LED shows you that it's recording GPS. Uh, you just have to supply 5 volts power and it has then an SD storage card here and there it locks all the GPS data, which is really handy. And this is just an additional unit, you wouldn't need this. You can just use the SD card and uh, plug it in a computer and read the log file. So, But that's, that's handy on the field instantly see how fast you have gone. Flew 3 minutes and 17, almost all the time full throttle to do a nice speed test and abuse these 1765C Griffin packs and you shouldn't really do this. <laughs> I mean they are, I mean the good thing is they are quite warm so you can warm your hands if it's cold but here yeah, I mean the cells are coming back to life but this is really far too low after you land the cells recover and the voltage goes up slow slowly but yeah 2.6 volts is not really good so things like that kill the batteries but it's not puffed it's just warm it's raining now and uh, not the best weather it's not not so fine Let's head back to the studio and check the results. If you like this frame, uh, please support Simon by buying his frame. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so the first part of soldering involves the ESCs to the motors. The first two you can do them straight away to have them turn clockwise, which then can be continued to be soldered on the power distribution board and then integrated 